Welcome back to Access Daily. The Waltons remains one of the most iconic shows in TV history, and now it's back for a new Thanksgiving special. Joining us now is Richard Thomas and the new John Boy Walton, Logan Shaw. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, gentlemen. <laughs> nice to see you. Wow. Nice to see you. Richard, I got to tell you, before we get into the thing, you were fantastic in Ozark. That was oh, so thank much you. fun. Oh, that was, that was oh, yeah. so much fun. That was <laughs> skeedy and shady was, and cut <laughs> right all at the same time. That was such a guilty pleasure, that part. Wasn't it? Oh, yes. What it do was, fans say to you from that show when they come up to you? Oh, well, um, they, they're afraid to come up to me about <laughs> that show, actually. No, people like it. You know, they, it, it, listen, the, 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 your problem children characters are always the most fun to play. So, no, I love doing that show. But and now something on totally on the other side. You get to revisit these uh, um, right. old stomping ground. How cool is it that you guys get to kind of promote together and oh, this great. new version? And, and, and Logan, I remember you guys knew each other prior, correct? Yeah, yeah. This is it true? This How did that true. come about again? Uh, well, my, my best friend growing up right on the beach is his grandson. Right. So, so oh, wow. as, crazy, right? Yeah. That's so random. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so totally, actually, we, totally random. We went out to dinner at one point when I was really starting out early on, and I was trying to, like, poke him with questions <laughs> and bug him while he's trying to eat tacos. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's... it's yeah, he was yeah. like, advice. Yeah. He doesn't need advice. So wait, so when the role came up, uh -huh. did you call him then and say, oh my gosh, I'm going in? I did. I thought you might have, like, worked made something happen. out. I thought yeah. you made a call on my behalf. And ben, I know. It was the most, it was out of the blue and fantastic yeah. to hear. I mean, I was. it's like, it was the most amazing, wonderful coincidence. That is And he's really so beautiful cool in the part. He's such, yeah. he's such a wonderful John boy. Yeah, and this is your second uh, sort of iconic show now on the heels of This Is Us. Congratulations oh, wow. on that, Ron, on, on that run there. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that picture. Some similarities, I would imagine, because with the family aspect mm -hmm. and everything, right? Or how, how would you compare the two? Yeah, I mean, I think that both of the shows really lean into family, obviously. Kevin Pearson's a bit different than John Boy, though. Um, <laughs> Kevin Pearson has a John Boy side to him, but I definitely was playing more with the problem child going back and forth. Um, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What are we going to see on this Thanksgiving movie? Everything that we love about our Waltons. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're, they're going to the Harvest Festival this year. So yeah. it's the Thanksgiving movie. And okay. That's right. Everyone's getting into their own little problems and solutions. And we have a, a new Walton family member. Okay. Well, we got a little clip, actually. actually. This yeah. one, I believe, is uh, John Boy courting a young lady. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose I should be heading along. Can I walk you to your horse? Sure. To be honest, I was kind of hoping you were getting interested in love stories. Well, you can recommend me one. <laughs> Maybe with a happier ending. Oh, well, for you, I'll work on it. For you, I'll read it. You know, my friend, um, that was a player line. Can I walk you to your horse? Can I walk you to your horse? Pretty slick, John Boy, right? I think yeah. so. Logan, Richard, what, what do you, do you think? think of the get up, Smooth first of all? Move. Your costume. Oh, I loved it, actually. It's it's really nice when the, the costume is specific to what you're doing. You don't wear it a lot, because when you're putting it on for the day, like it kind of helps you sink in. Yeah. Sure. Um, which might sound actory and a little bit pretentious, but it's actually true. It's not. Um, I, yeah. I, well, somebody asked Robert yeah. Mitchum once how he distinguished one character from another, and he <laughs> said the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. But that was a very Robert yeah. Mitchum answer. Sure. I love so. it. I love that answer. Yeah. Oh, you're the narrator this time around, huh? The what? The narrator. Yes, yes. I'm very excited. When, when we did the original show, of course, Earl Hamner, who created the show, was the voice of the older John Boy in the narration. And when I first got the scripts, I loved the narration so much. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about doing them. And then I got there and was told, well, actually, you're not going to do them. Earl's going to do them. Yeah. And I was very jealous. But he was unsurpassably wonderful in those voiceovers. And now, 50 years later, I be, now being the older John Boy, I get to finally do the narration. So go. I'm really cool. excited. Circle. I frankly was just so happy to be invited to still be a part of the family. It means so much to me. That show did everything for me, and we're still like a big family, all of us. And, oh, that's cool. And I, I have such happy memories of it that I'm just, I was so happy to be asked back to the party. I love the passing of the torch. So what does your friend think about this? Your friend that introduced you? Your grandson. Uh, your he grandson. Was very shocked. I mean, I think we both we actually were all, like, did we, you make I mean, does call? he get residuals? Is this guy? Well, he, he, should, got, he, he needs to be a background guy or something. Yeah, I know. I, actually, we should, we should do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just crazy because when my, when my um, agents and my team called me, they were like, do you know the Waltons? I was like, oh, yeah, of course. Richard Thomas, crazy, John Boy, right? yeah. And they're like, oh. Would you like to be John Boy? Much better looking, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fun story right there. Yeah. Richard, what, what is it about the Waltons you think that still resonates with people after um, 
all these years, or even more so now? Is it just, just the times we're in to see a family that family. loves each other and, and that's solid? It's family, and family is a constant. It's why the Waltons was so popular internationally as well, because family cuts across all of these these lines. There's, it's commonality. It's, it's what we all have in common as people together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when the Waltons hit the air originally, we were going through a very, very divisive and, and fractious time in American history with... with just you know, uh, with with the war and with, right. you know er everything that was going on in the in 1971 and from the oh, late yeah. 60s, right in the heat of the right oh, in yeah. the heat of it. And this show was a healing zone uh, for people. And I think we're going through it again, as we all know. And I think this, you know, their show is is will be hopefully a healing zone for people to come together and remember really how much we have in common. Mm -hmm. uh, so much more than we don't. Absolutely. Also, watching that clip, you got to bring the overalls back. Who wears the overalls better between the two of you? Do you well, wear overalls at all? Have you, do you I have do. Overalls? You have some one. overalls. I wear some right? overalls in this one. Yeah. Yeah, I do, very briefly. We do a little bit of work in I my have, version of this. I have my overalls do you? In, what? A in a trunk somewhere. Oh, you really I do? I kept them. You've yeah. got to break it out for like this Halloween they are or something. For Halloween, right? exactly. Real yeah. quick, before we let you go, Richard, talk about the show you're performing here at the Pantages. I'm right now doing the Broadway tour of, of uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, That's we, awesome. <laughs> At the Pantages, at the Pantages Theater, and playing Atticus Finch and loving every minute of it. We have a wonderful cast. Aaron Sorkin did the adaptation, wow. and it's absolutely brilliant. And it's amazing. We're having a great time taking it, and it's a great story to take across the country right yeah. now. Come on, awesome. my kids. Congrats on that. Great yeah. to see you both. Thank yeah, you. Guys. Great Congrats. to see you. Nice to see you guys. And you can check out the Walton's Thanksgiving airs November twentieth, eight p.m. on the.